everybody and welcome back to Hyperion SMP, a server in which we SMP and have a lot of fun doing it. Guys, last episode was our 100 subscriber special. We now have 107 subscribers at the time of recording this video and that is so awesome. Now, I have a lot of things to talk about today and we're going to be do doing quite a bit. First of all, I have um, braces now, uh, again. Well, no, I've always had braces. Well, not always. But I've had braces for the vast majority of the time that I've been recording, okay? But the thing is, I got rubber bands a while ago. So if I, like, if I kind of do my S's a little bit weird, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. It, it's just getting used to talking with rubber bands. They're really annoying, and I can't stand them. But, first of all, what you can see here is that I've expanded the chest room down here. This is below our AFK fish farm, so this collects all of our quote-unquote junk. I would not call it junk. We've got tons of tons of enchanted books, bows, food, saddles. Actually, what I came down here to get is the tripwire hooks. As you can see, it's already refilling itself and everything. So I'm going to look for the tripwire hooks as I go along, but I expanded it because we were actually running out of room, which is crazy, but we were actually running out of room, so I did decide to expand it just a little bit, just in, ooh, what's that, unbreaking and protection, cool, um, I did decide to expand it just so that we wouldn't overflow, we're going to probably have to think of a different solution to this because um, it is going to fill up and I can't really extend it much. Um, yeah, I think I can go left. I haven't really tested that, but I might be able to go left. And if I could go left, then we could just keep on expanding and expanding, and that would be really, really nice. So now, funny story time. Now, we'll do funny story as we're explaining. Okay, so, last episode, there was a 100 subscriber special with the dragon fight and everything. I just said that, but I am still excited, personally. I don't know about you guys. I'm super excited. So, hold on, need to do something real quick. Alright, there we go. And, so I'm still super excited, and I want to do a project to commemorate this. So why am I doing this weird, like, what am I even doing right now? Well, what I'm doing is making a giant hot air balloon in the sky right there. Now, how does that relate to 100 subscriber specials uh, at all? Like, how does that even... What? What does that have to do with 100 subscribers? Well, you see, what we have, what we're going to be doing... Oh, that didn't work. What we're going to be doing is building a giant hot air balloon, as I just said, but what it's going to look like... I'm actually watching a YouTube video as I do this. It's a little tutorial made by... Severity, S-E-V-A-R-I-T-Y, I will leave the link in the description if I do remember, which I hope I do. What was I just talking about? Hot air balloon, it's going to look like a giant die. A giant die. And that is going to look so cool, at least I think it is. Now the thing about this die is that it's going to have, wait, what? Where does this redstone go? I am personally confused. We'll figure that out later. It's going to have 100 black dots on it. I'm building the entire thing out of blocks of quartz. Do you see how many blocks of quartz I have? This took ages to get. Ages. Okay, and then we have blocks of coal. Each of these black dots are going to represent one of the 100 subscribers that we reached for the 100 subscriber special. So, we have 100 blocks there. We're going to build a di giant die, except that's going to be the balloon, the balloon part. And then we're going to have this little wood thing, like the underhang, where, you know, people would stand, also. Um, I managed to get a couple wither skulls, so we're going to have a wither fight soon, guys. Yes! I have so many ideas, I'm telling you guys, this is this series is getting off to a great start. Okay, that's where the redstone goes. So, I need to destroy this block here. What are we doing right now, you may ask? What we are doing right now is making... A, a slime block launcher. What that does is it launches players slightly upwards. This might actually be it. Yep, all right, cool. 
So what this is going to do is probably a bad idea, but I have on my armor, so. Oh, come on. Why is this not working? What's going on? It's kind of like a staircase. And it doesn't really require stairs. So it's a staircase without stairs. Yeah, that's a little bit confusing. You guys understand, I'm sure. So, what we're... Wait, no, 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 no. What I could do is, let's let's be creative here. What we gotta do is put redstone there, redstone there, set that there, and set that just a couple ticks back. Maybe try two ticks. There we go. Why is this not working? Oh, oh. Let's set it for three. Let's go. There we go. That's what it's supposed to do. So what we're going to have is a bunch of these, all right? We're going to have a bunch of these, and they're going to be leading up to the balloon. So one, two, three, furnace. So this is how the project is going to go. We're going to get rid of this stuff here. I should probably use my shovel for that. Um, yeah, I did get a couple more enchantments. Oh my gosh, I have so many things to tell you guys. Okay, so we have all these enchantments. I'm just going to scroll through. I renamed this top hat because I was trying to build an elytra launcher, all right? I was trying to build it for you guys, and then we're going to build other ones, and um, they would have gotten us to spawn and stuff, and we would have had a whole episode on that. That's what I was planning, okay? That's what I was planning. What the heck just happened? So that's what I was planning to do, alright? And then, the Elytra launcher just was not working, okay? It was not working. Finally, finally, after spewing out a bunch of boats, if you don't know what Elytra launcher is, don't worry about it. It just basically gets um, your, so you know the Elytra, the wings? You can use this thing with boats and you can launch yourself into the air really, really high. I don't know why I'm doing hand motions, you guys can't see me. That launches you so high and that would have been so awesome. I was going to build one in the balloon and everything and that would have been just absolutely brilliant. Except, finally I died from it. I lost all my items, I was kicked from the server. I was kicked from the server for flying. Something weird happened. I lost all of my armor, all of my weapons and tools. Luckily, the server owner decided to be nice, and he he let me um, get my stuff back. So he went into creative. He got all my stuff back. I am so, so thankful. If that would not have happened, um... We would have lost all of our things. So I did rename a couple things. The enchantments might be a little bit worse than you saw them last time, which isn't good, I know. Um, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna go with it. We have some better stuff. We do have some thorns on this, so it's all getting back together and everything. We have silk touch on the shovel, and that is awesome. Now what was I talking about before I got into that? Um I don't actually know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We're just going to build this right here and then I'm probably just going to stop I will build the other ones and then we'll get started on the balloons this is going to take multiple episodes as this is quite a big balloon um, to have 100 coal blocks and a bunch of quartz it is going to take a little bit so uh, what's that set at looks like three ticks so yeah it's going to take a while I will just do this one and then I will start doing them without you guys just so that you guys don't have to watch this every single time because that might get a little bit boring. So what we're going to do, this is really, this is just a really inefficient way of building this. Let's go right there and there and there and there with three ticks. There we are. And now if we test it out, it should be working. I was traveling through the nether, okay, and I decided to bring my horse. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I also got diamond horse armor. I don't know if you guys saw that before. Uh, I don't know why I even needed my horse in the nether. I really don't know, okay? Don't judge. We also have a nether portal. Somebody helped me set it up. So nice of them. They also Somebody also gave me some stuff for 100 subscribers, which is a bunch of slime blocks, a diamond chest plate, and a diamond sword, I believe. And the shop is working really well. I'll show you guys in just a second. But I brought my horse through the nether. And apparently nether horses, uh, nether portals hurt them. So he kind of died. But now we have St. Ede, okay? It was really disappointing, but we tamed another one. It's a white stallion, all right? And its name is St. Ede, which is awesome. So look how many diamonds we have. 
I had over 50 diamonds. 50. From the shop. Okay? Is that not amazing? We also have this ender chest. I know I didn't show you guys that before. We also have a second pair of elytra. Okay, because somebody traded just to it. That's not important. Okay. That's not important right now. Unbreaking three and many. Awesome. We have our depth strider set that is getting completed. And silk touch pickaxe right there. We have a few more enchantments that we need to do. A bunch of stuff there. This is our symbol, which, you know, I'll show you guys later because I have so many things to talk about. I've just been going, oh my gosh, we're already like halfway through the episode. What's going on? So this should work. This is going to hurt. Ah, oh, man. Okay, four ticks. That seems to work better. Let's do that. All right, so let's go over here. And hup. And hup. Land for the water, land for the water. Yes, all right, we made it safely. So do you see how this is going to go? We will be able to get all the way over there, which is where I want to build the balloon, with these steps that aren't connected. So that's just going to be really awesome. What are you planning on doing is building the design so that they look like clouds? I think that would look really cool. So we're going to have, like, clouds going up to this thing. That's just going to be so cool. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. Place our furnace. All right, guys, this might be where I want to build the balloon, I think, because it will go a lot higher. So I think this is going to be a good spot for it. I haven't tested this out, and honestly, I might take enough damage that I die, but let's do it. Boom. Boom. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, okay. That didn't work. Did I set all the repeaters right? There we go. We are here. We are at the top. So, I don't know. I think this is a pretty good spot for it, quite honestly. We've got a bunch of little clouds that we'll add in later. Um, we do need some more wood, which I do not have on me at the moment. We have our nether portal over there, as I've already mentioned. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think this is a good place to start building it. Alright, so what we're going to do is I need to go gather a bunch of wood. Alright, so it looks a little bit weird right now. I'll admit it. It's kind of... Ugh. <laughs> It doesn't really look like a balloon at the moment, but I've been doing some work up there. So there are some extra unneeded blocks. This is probably going to glitch. Yep, it hasn't been doing- it hasn't been like this. This is bad. Oh man, I think it will be okay once we make it like- I just need to keep going. So once I put like some safety barriers around it especially. Here's what we've got for now. We've got the wooden structure here, which we will definitely be improving on very soon. And, well, maybe the next episode. We might decorate next episode because I am running out of time already. This this kind of took longer than I thought to get it started up and everything. So we're going to go straight into the center. And as you can see, it's kind of like this curved part here. Kind of a curve so that it will look better. I think it'll look better. I don't really know, though, okay? You guys don't, don't trust me on this. <laughs> this is something you shouldn't trust me on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Alright, so what we want to do is we're going to place a coal block every other two. So like, you'll have one there, you'll have one there, you'll have one there, and you will have one, uh, right, no, okay, fine, whatever, there. So it's going to go like that all the way around the balloon, not on the bottom, or on the top they're not they're only going to be on the sides so yeah this is the design I'm going for this is just going to go straight up I believe might have a little bit of a, a, a thing I don't really know what I'm talking about 100% <laughs> so I'm probably going to do a time-lapse of this or maybe I'll cut it out completely if we're running low on time but either way I'll see you guys in just a second and uh, I hope you enjoy watching me or not watching me if I decide to cut it building this balloon so let's go
Alright guys, there's still a lot of work to do on it, especially with the little basket underneath the inside of the balloon, which I haven't talked to you about yet. And, you know, just some of the... Well, yeah, just the basket stuff, the connector piece to the basket, which I'll probably use fences for. But, we do have a pretty nice thing. We will turn these into clouds later. I might have to mess with them a little bit. And those will, I think those will look nice. Just small little clouds leading up to that. It turned out better than I expected because I did not think I would be able to build a hot air balloon very well. But it's not perfect. It's not perfect. The top is a little bit hard to see if you're farther away. But, ah, that's so annoying. And then we get here, we will have a ladder leading up into the air so the ladder will start right there and let's just go up there for now actually let's clear away some of this and I'll tell you what's going to be inside of it so you know the enchantment table that I have inside my house randomly placed there it doesn't look like it belongs there at all it there's just a ton of bookshelves it's disgusting guys I can't stand it at all none I absolutely hate that thing but um, we're going to put that up here along with something that I'm probably never going to use, but every Minecrafter really should have it, is a, a brewing stand. I mean, I might use it sometimes, I guess. I'm kind of looking to see if there's any parts I need to clear out. Uh, I really haven't used a brewing stand much in the past. I just personally don't use potions that very often, so it probably won't come in much handy, but it will be nice to have my enchanting table and brewing stand in one place, and I think that that's just a, a good theme to have, um, where you just, you know, make potions, enchant your stuff. So what we're going to be doing next time is, as I said, making the little basket look better that's on the bottom of this hot air balloon. And then we're going to be adding some interior decoration. I will fix up all the hangout parts um, out of video. So you guys don't have to look at that and all that nonsense. And, oh, no, I can't reach it. going to have to use um, oak wood. Sure. So, yeah, that's about it for today's episode. Other than the last thing I want to do, which I'll do here in just a second, we will go out here. We just need to destroy this. And then I will take care of this little bridge thing later. So, what we want to do is get over here into the center right there. And we're going to go up. And now, uh, what I did was I'm using the Faithful 1.10 texture pack. It's an amazing, amazing texture pack, at least for me personally. I don't know if you guys like it. I uh, I think it's absolutely amazing. So, you know, right there, Faithful 1.10 author x Mr. Busy. If you search that on Google, you will find it easily. It's probably the first result that will come up. What I want to do right now is use the Elytra. Now, these are retextured because of a different texture pack I have. Yeah, we have these nice... I really like this texture. It makes you look like a bird. What I want to do... There's a weird glitch where... Yeah. But what I want to do is jump off of here. All right? And then I want to take a peek at it. So that's what we're going to be doing in just a second. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think that's all I have to say for now. We will make this look better in the future. And I'm just so excited. It looks so great. Thank you so much for 100 subscribers. Again, we will be continuing the 100 subscribers, some subscriber specialness um, probably for another two episodes? One or two episodes? Maybe we can finish it next time? I don't know. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you're having a great day. Now let's jump off. And we're going to take a peek at this. Three, two, one. Also, I didn't get this balloon design from anyone specifically, so, oh my gosh! <gasps> Elytra are just the best. Look at that. That looks so cool. I think we're going to have to fix up the top a little bit. It doesn't look very rounded. Not that the entire balloon looks extremely rounded by itself. Anyways, but I think we're going to have to fix it up a little bit. I don't know why I'm going over here. Let's go a little bit closer to the ground. Oh, look at that. Oh, and we landed. Elytra are just, oh man, they're so amazing. They are just the best. And as I said, we do have mending and I'm breaking on that. Look at that balloon. Does that not look awesome? I really like it. I really like it. Yeah, as I said, you can't really see the top of it. But I don't know. I think that kind of makes it look more like a die. 
a die, you know what I mean? Because it's supposed to look like a, a die, which is a square, a cube. Honestly, it might not change the top. I kind of do like it that way. It just looks like like it's squared off at the top. I, I really like that, actually. Yeah, we might keep that. So, as I said, next time we will be turning those into little clouds. We will put some fence posts there. So, if the basket connected, we'll probably make the ba basket round a little bit, because I don't really like how it looks right now. We will clean up the little uh, sticking out parts like that, like that. We will clean up all those things out of episode. And we will put in the enchantment table, the brewing stand, and then the final thing which is why I left a hole at the very top. That is for an elytra launcher. As I said, I've given up on those. I'm not going to be building an actual elytra launcher. I'm going to be building something kind of like these slime stairs. And what you're gonna do is you're going to go onto it. It's going to, it's going to hit you up, and then it's going to hit you to the side. Isn't that, a, isn't that cool? So we'll go up there. We'll, we'll have this little machine. It'll be really small, not much redstone. We'll be hit up, and then we'll be hit out, and then we can fly to spawn. Is that not awesome? And and a horse right here with a disappearing lead. Yeah, he's gonna have a lot of fun flying. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, so that ends today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. I had a lot of fun thinking of this idea and finally building it. Finally, I'm so glad I had enough resources. We are running out. So, but I don't think we're actually going to change that much. So I think we do have enough quartz. I won't have to go get any for the time being. Thank you so much for watching. Again, thank you for 100 subscribers. I can't wait to wait to make this look all pretty. Just thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next episode. And good. Bye.